This is Josh from Collection DX here to review the Crimson Typhoon Jaeger from the movie Pacific Rim, the awesome movie. I previously reviewed the uh, Gypsy Danger, and this is the second uh, Jaeger that they've released in the line, uh, Series 1. Uh, this is a, a, a nice, uh, interesting design that suffers, I think, for, from some questionable choices in the sculpt. It's, it's heavy and durable, which is nice. There is some nice detail on the figure. I want to go over a few interesting design choices here first. Uh, the character only has three arms. Now, once again, that's the, that's the character thing. But what's interesting about what NECA did is that they gave the arms different levels of articulation. So, for example, this arm has a lovely ball joint. Look at that. Nice. This arm has a lovely ball joint. Nice. This arm, what? No ball joint. Wh why would you do that? That does not make any sense. So, that, or things like that are, are right off the bat a little, mm, like I said in the early review, it's a $15 toy. There's going to be sacrifices. But there's some things that could have just been a little more attention to detail. Some things that just don't make sense. But let's walk through it. First of all, you have the head. The head is, I think, the weakest head of all the Jaeger designs. Has, you know, the toy had only this to work with. It looks like a weirdo camera, and it doesn't translate well in this small size. I believe these things on the side of the head are supposed to be pistons. So, in theory, they should be tucked in underneath the cowl and move with it. But at this size, that's just not happening, and they just look like dog ears. So, not great. In the back, uh, you have the gen engines and some wings. A nice detail, you have uh, kaiju kills stenciled on the back. Uh, nice little tampo printing all over the figure. Nice touch, the little, uh, Chinese characters all over. Uh, so they did do a really good job with the paint. Much better than, I think, Gypsy Dangers. Uh, it is entirely made out of PVC. Th therefore, it does seem sound sticky. Can you hear it? things move like that it's like PVC on PVC but still not too bad the arms I mentioned the um, odd joint on this middle arm but they all have uh, a decent uh, articulation for the elbow much better than gypsy danger and then there's this weird thing going on check this out okay that's an interesting articulation but it doesn't rotate it just does that okay odd same thing with this one so basically you can do like derp hands with your mecha okay whatever this arm is kind of as is in a nice ball joint it's covered with this flexible rubber cowl not removable there's no uh, bicep swivel it does have an overextending uh, elbow joint so there's really no precision there and has this uh, cool claw arm that rotates, but none of these are jointed in any way. Also not included are the cool saw weapons that this one had, if you see all the movie. The uh, chest is on a ball joint, which is fine. Looks a little odd, like it should be sat down a bit more, but whatever. The hips kind of suck. Let's get down to it. If you can see here on the hips, one hip is farther in than the other hip. This one has a lot of space in it. This one doesn't. I've tried pushing them in. It doesn't work. The legs are chicken legs, which makes for some interesting posing challenges. He likes to do this. I don't quite know if that is the proper stance, fully compressed, or if they should be more out like this. I just don't know, and I can't find any good reference artwork to tell me, but Either way, he's a little top heavy. The ankles on this one, not as good as Gypsy Danger. Just your basic, uh, whatever you want to call that. Uh, and here's something else, these joints are pin joints. Check out what's happening on this leg. Pin joint comes right out. So it's not a good joint system. It's not good. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I wish the QC was better. Uh, it's, you know, my kids were playing with these and 
I don't think, it looks like there's a cap missing on the inside. I don't know if they broke it or it just came off, but still not cool that that happens. But yeah, 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 15 bucks. It's not a Tamashi Nations figure, yada, yada, yada. Um, as I mentioned in the other review, I would like to support this line because I do want more people to make more Jaegers and of better quality. And I figure if no one buys these, other companies will go, nobody bought those, why the hell are we going to make ours? So that is why I'm supporting this line. I'm glad they're made. My kids dig these toys. They fall short of collector quality, but as far as Pacific Rim Jaegers go, this is the only game in town. Stay tuned for part three where we will review the Knifehead Kaiju. It's Josh from Collection DX. See you next time.